in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed Worthy, worthy is the Lamb, worthy, worthy is the Lamb, worthy, worthy is the Lamb, holy. Holy is the Lamb, holy, holy is the Lamb, faithful, faithful is the Lamb, faithful. Mighty, mighty, mighty is the Lamb, mighty, mighty is the Lamb. Take my body, my soul, my spirit, breathe on me. Take my body, my soul. My spirit, breathe on me. Take my body, my soul, my spirit, breathe on me. It's a powerful song. Take my body, my soul, my spirit, breathe on me. Breathe on me. Yeah. Breathe on me Breathe on me It is the breath of the Almighty that make men of understanding Breathe on me Breathe on me Breathe on me Affect my life, breathe on me. I look to you for Affect my life, breathe on me. Sing it from your heart. Lord, affect my life, breathe on me. Lord, I look to you for life. Affect my life, breathe on me. One more time. I thank my life. Breathe on me. I look to you for a life. I thank my life. Breathe on me. Cause I look to you for a life. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Expression of desperation.
for life. Transform me. I look to you for me. I give you praise I give you praise I give you praise I give you praise Lord I give you praise
enjoy the presence of the Lord. His presence alone can convict and shape that glory. <laughs> shalom, 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 shalom. Shalom, 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 koinonia. His presence comes to change. Don't doubt what you are experiencing. But in His presence. taking place in the spirit I sense a very strong healing anointing in this place I am the Lord your healer I sent my word and it healed your disease I am the Lord your healer I am the Lord the Lord is healing sick bodies right now that he let thee I am the Lord I'm your healer I, I said my word and he healed your disease. I am the Lord, your healer. Holy Spirit, thou art welcome in this place. Holy Spirit, thou art welcome in Tell you the Holy Spirit is resting, is finding habitation. Father, have mercy and grace. Thou art welcome in this When the spirit takes over your soul When the spirit takes over your soul You will be changed His glory will be revealed When the spirit takes over your soul for he's the holy ghost spirit of the living god he's the holy ghost scepter of the king of kings you're the holy Seal of the age to come. Your 
services through the week we are in strange seasons of the glory because God is opening portals God is opening scrolls showing us the mysteries of the kingdom Hallelujah Just singing, this is a sound from heaven. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! May you hear this sound in your spirit. Hallelujah! Prophesied as I was commanded. Hallelujah. Please follow me instrumentally. I'm not singing. It's a chant in the spirit. Hallelujah. Ride upon the wings of this sound, oh great one. See now, I shake it, na 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 na. See ne de de bo so na 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 na. Ride upon the wings of this sound. Echo in your spirit, man. For when the shofar blows, it's a sign that the season has
All the world is calling your name. Emmanuel, when you come to rest, this is a dimension of God that the church has lost. The meeting point between men and the presence of God. Emmanuel and the church will see your holy face Emmanuel when you come to reign Hallelujah You have won the victory Sikata baba kalaba da 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 Hallelujah You have won it all for me just that part, sing hallelujah. Hallelujah. You have won the victory. you participate in the worship it's part of the teaching the presence of God is happy and mighty in this place the part of the song that I like it. Oh, 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 sing oh,
this place remain the habitation of your presence, O oh God. There is a strange wind, physical wind, physical wind that I see in the spirit and it's going to blow inside this place. A real physical wind. You will feel it start happening right now. A real wind is the wind of the spirit. A real physical wind. Physical wind. Blow, oh great wind. Even as I've seen in the spirit, a real physical wind. Changing. Transforming. I don't mind waiting. We're not in a hurry. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting on you, Lord. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting. For who is there like you? There's no one beside you. I lead the earth to worship you. Who is there like you? There's no one beside you. I lead the earth. Look, the Lord is doing something tonight. Let's just flow with what the Holy Spirit is doing. Who is there like you? No one beside you. I lead the earth to worship you. Who is there like you? No one beside you. I lead the earth. I lead the earth to Jesus, this is what this is all about, and we give you the glory. We thank you for your mighty presence. We thank you for the miracles, for the healing. Thank you because you're already changing the mindsets of people. Doing what mortal words cannot articulate. Jesus. Something special. Supernatural. About the name. Something happens when we call his name. Something happens when I mention your name. Hallelujah. Spirit of the living God, we submit to what you are doing. I will praise the Lamb. Of God who sits upon the throne. Sam, help me. I, I will, will worship him and give, and give a praise to, to him alone. He who was and is and is to come, I will sing before his throne forever.
All the angels sing and they bow down and they sing holy. Yes, we sing holy, and we are sons and daughters. We praise you now and we cry holy. Yes, we cry. I will praise the Lamb. I will praise the Lamb of God who sits upon the throne. I will worship Him. I will worship Him and give the praise to Him. He who was in me, he who was in me, and he is the God. Hallelujah. I will sing, I will sing before his throne forever and ever. Your holy, holy. Everybody raise your voice and sing. There's no one like you, Lord. There's no one like you, Lord. No one can confess to you. Separate and sanctify. What do you for the praise? And what is your glory, God? We will bow before you and raise your voice and say, She is so holy. Somebody worship me. Lord, if this is all you do with us tonight, we are grateful. There is only so much we know about the presence of God and its power to change. The Bible says, now the Lord is that spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Bless us, oh God, tonight. We're not ashamed to bask in your presence. This is the place of true power. This is the place where burdens are lifted. This is where you are separating men. worship him your flesh may be weak but there is an ascendance that is happening to your spirit sing hallelujah hallelujah
just whisper it to the Lord and say, I'm available. Lord, I'm available. Pray it. Turn it to, into a, a solemn prayer. You're with him alone tonight. I know we are here corporately. I'm truly available. Even if this is your first time tonight. This is how to walk in the spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. Let me tell you what happens to you when you are exposed to God's presence. Your flesh will start fighting you. Your mortal physical body will start finding excuses as to why you are tired. It's because something is happening. Many of us have not mastered the art of taming the flesh to stay in the presence of God. Once you raise a worship song, you suddenly begin to feel, I'm tired. I need to, I, I'm looking for something. It's not like you're really tired, brothers and sisters. No flesh can stand in his presence. When your flesh is compelled to submit to the influence of his presence, you will become a wonder. His power can flow through you. The energy, the ability of the spirit. You don't just need a transformation of the mind. You need a total alignment. An alignment. Where something happens to you, not just in your spirit, not just in your soul, but your physical body. Your physical body. When you bask in the glory of God, I'm telling you, it affects your physical body, your mortal body. Every fiber of your cell, every fiber of your blood, your body comes under the influence of that cardboard, that weight of his glory. That's what will melt every sickness. That's what will set people free. Hallelujah. Please be seated. Good evening and God bless you. If you can't sit down, if you cannot, the meeting is already on. I love to worship. And I love to praise I bow before you Lifting you I I worship your holy name I love to worship I love to praise I bow before you Lifting you I You are being renewed. Listen to me, please. You are being changed. These seats are vacant. Can we have one or two people occupy these seats, please? Hallelujah. Please fill up every vacant seat. Just come quietly, find a place and sit. God bless all of you standing. You may be standing now, but I assure you, a day will come you will sit. Yeah, the Bible says the word is able to give you an inheritance. Lord, if you're healing people in this season, don't do it without me. Mali Paradashia. Don't do it without me. Oh Lord, if you're changing cities in this season, please don't do it without me. That's always my prayer. Don't do it without me. 
Oh Lord, as you're leading people into your glory, don't do without me. Don't do it without me. Hallelujah. See, listen. If you take seriously the things I'm teaching you, it will shock you what you will become. It's a programming. Listen to me. What you are receiving is a programming. It's making you become something. It's aligning you spiritually so that the reality of the kingdom can find expression through you. This is what God desires. Not just when you are standing on stage. Hallelujah. There is an alignment through the songs. Even if you don't hear anything, the atmosphere does something to you. There is a change the presence of God. This is the factor that you need in your life, brothers and sisters. Power is not enough to change people. There is, there is a way you can align to the Holy Ghost that you become a living wonder your physical mortal body carries heaven hallelujah and that everywhere you go you become an envoy i did a teaching envoys of his presence you don't have all the time to start teaching people sermons brothers and sisters there are times you will need to let the presence alone speak oh Has become our passion in this place. It pays to walk with God. It pays. God is speaking to someone here. Tonight, you need to win the war in your heart and give up the flesh. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I'm going to make an altar call right now. Hallelujah. There are people who have been fighting to submit totally to the Spirit. And he's giving the devil access to destroy your life. You know what I'm talking about. There are so many of you outside. There are many of us inside. Hallelujah. This is what is keeping many of us in bondages. This is what gives the devil legal access tonight. Tonight. I'm going to make an altar call right now, even before I continue. Don't mind what I'm doing. Let me just do my stupid thing on the stage. This is the Holy Ghost doing what he's doing. This is koinonia. Hallelujah. There are people who need to win this war tonight. The struggle is over. You, you can't keep fighting with destiny forever. You may be sitting and people may be looking at you, but we're struggling. There is this war between Cain and Abel. The spirit and the flesh. Hallelujah. As I count three, I want those people to get up, jump up on your feet and come out here right now. One. Lord, if you're healing people in this season, don't do without me. Don't do it without me. Please, if you are not sure of why you are here, go back to your seat and think again. Please, we are not, we are not playing games. We are really... Look at me. Hold on. Praise God. I, I appreciate your sincerity, but we are not playing games. If you are coming out here, you are really telling the Lord, I'm tired. I'm tired. Win this war tonight. I make up my mind for real. 
Hallelujah. Just come, there's still some space. I will lay down my idols and thrones I have made and all that has taken my heart. Lord, I will bow. Lord, I will bow to you. Listen, Jesus said something. He said, Satan cometh to me and does not find anything. Satan cometh to me. Many of us, it's not that we don't love God. This has been my message. He is not a priority. There are so many things we believe that deserve our time and our attention. Because we live in a society that convinces us that spirituality makes us failure. Who can compare to you? Great is the measure of your royalty, O oh morning star, you truly are. Everything. Listen, look at me, those of you coming out. You can win this war tonight and say, Lord, take over my life. Take over. I don't care who is watching me. I'm, I'm sick and tired of this fake life. There are many of you who are supposed to join them. You are sitting, smiling, and the Holy Ghost is talking to you and saying, This is serious business. Join them quickly. There are many of you outside. Lord, you are everything to me. He's my treasure, my priority. Who can compare to him? Nobody. Great is the measure of his royalty. Oh, morning star, you truly are everything. Listen, if that Isaac in your life that makes God of less value does not leave you. You will never experience the power of God. Take it from me. Don't let anybody fool you. I've told you there are some things in the kingdom that are not gifts. They are rewards for serious people. It's part of the justice system of heaven. For many of us, it's boyfriend and girlfriend that won't let us get serious with God. For many of us, it's money Ah, you want money. For many of us, we are just careless and vulnerable. And it may not be your fault. We came from backgrounds where priority to the things of God is seen as being strange. But let me tell you something. When you come for koinonia, what you see is a new culture. You don't see Yoruba culture here or Hausa culture or Igbo culture, or, or another culture, South-South culture. We divorce those things to pick the excellency of the culture of the kingdom. And in a kingdom, there is no democracy. The entire citizens look up to the king and his agenda. Many of you believe in God. Tonight, will you submit to his government? This is the true place of power. Take me to the place, the place, the place you, you are. It's the secret place. That's where I want to be. I tell you, you will command power and authority when you stand in that realm. The place you are. 
the secret place. Those of you standing, can you sing it with me? Take me to the place. Come on. Take me to the place. The place you are. The secret place. That's where I want to be. There are many of you that need to take your phone, look at me, and send polite but serious text messages to certain people and say, I've been playing with the issue of God being my priority, but right now, Mr. Man, I mean business. See, let me tell you, if you are ashamed of this, I can guarantee you, brothers and many of our parents were ashamed of this decision and they are paying for it bitterly. They went to school, but they are still paying. The remedy from the tragedy that comes with this system, this fallen system, is to walk in the spirit. Lift your hands, those of you in front, and cry your heart to God. Those of us seated, join them. In one minute, say, Lord, I take you seriously from today. Pray. Take away every Isaac, oh God, that will not stop me from being serious. Some of you are ashamed of the mockery that comes with carrying the cross. Man, tata, kapa, ladabagai. Pray. For I am not ashamed of the gospel. It is the power of God unto salvation. Those of you standing, cry. Come on. This is between you and God. This is your koinonia tonight. Lord, I know you desire to use me. But what is this weight? It says, seeing then that we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses. Let us lay aside every weight. Every weight. Every weight. Every weight. Take it, oh God. Take it, whatever it is. And mean it from your heart. Ladies, pray. Lord, take it away. So that I can rise to a realm higher than what I have seen. So that I will command the authority of the kingdom. So that I will be trusted with the mysteries of the kingdom the bible says the secrets of the lord are not with them that are born again with them that fear him them that fear him he will show them his covenants let your christianity last let your christianity last no mood swings with god kill it tonight no mood swings with God. I love you whether there's money or not. I love you whether there's job or not. Come on, pray. I love you whether there's marriage or not. Children or not. Academics or not. Carryover or not. Lord, you are more precious than silver. Lord, you are more costly than gold. Sing it with me. Lord, you are more beautiful than diamond. There is nothing compared to you. Hallelujah. Our time is fast spent. If this is all we do tonight, no problem. I wanted to teach something about the mysteries of the kingdom. One of the mysteries of the kingdom is the mystery of having more. In the kingdom, you have more by losing what you have. Are you hearing what I'm saying? It's a strange mystery. It says, whosoever loves his life will lose it. But whosoever loses it, you want power, lose the strength you have in yourself. And you will get a higher one. You want wisdom. Lose the one you have. Break it like an alabaster box. And pour it on his feet. 
and say, Lord, take the intellect. I know I went to school, but I can roll on the floor for the excellency of another. You must lose what you currently have. Otherwise, you will never get it. A higher dimension. I pray for you. Say after me, those of you standing, Lord Jesus, I mean business with you. Many of you, as you are praying, the power of the Holy Ghost will come strong upon you. Because this is what the Holy Ghost has been waiting for. He's been seeking you for a long time. Hallelujah. I mean business with you. I make up my mind tonight that you are my priority. I not only believe in Jesus, I submit to the government of heaven. Every Isaac in my life that stops me from rising higher, I give it tonight. In the name of Jesus. Father, I pray for these ones. In the name of Jesus. They have come because they mean business with you. Transform them. Some of them are men of God. Some of them are women of God. Some of them are great leaders. Some of them have seen your hand in a measure. I pray in the name that is above all names. Help them. In the name of Jesus. May grace to lose what you have be given to you. Amen. That you will get something higher. Amen. That nothing in this earth can compare with it. I break every ungodly association. Look at me. And I announce this to everybody. Hear me inside and outside. You are not truly born again if your association does not change. I'm going to repeat it. You are not truly born again if your association, especially the association that kept you in sin, there's no such thing that I'm born again and my best friend is still that person. I will change him. Uh -uh. When it was time for Moses to be changed, he left Egypt and went and stayed with God, was trained when he had that stature, God sent him back to Egypt as a deliverer. You don't stay in Egypt and get transformed hallelujah there are many of us you have three or four people your friends they drag a lady and they are coming to sleep with her and you are there you are a christian but you don't you don't like it but there's nothing that can be done about it and then you are in the room there you are watching you didn't sleep with the lady but a seed has been sown in your life you are going to go and pray and you are thinking of all kinds of things your spiritual stability has been distorted and it will take a long time for you to get back your footing but i pray for you tonight the hand of the almighty is upon you you will leave this place transformed please go back to your seat give me 15 minutes or so and we'll be and then Two meetings now, God has been interrupting what we are doing in this place. The message I preached last week was not even the message that I plan to preach this week again. And every time you see God stepping in like that, it's because we are entering seasons. I told us about the seasons of greatness. Like Noah, I will keep announcing it until we step into the reality of it. Noah kept saying something kept saying something and this is not just empty confession hallelujah grant us grace oh god in the name of the lord jesus christ can we just look at something small
We're talking about the mysteries of the kingdom. Um, for time's sake, our time is already gone. I will just pick something, really, just an aspect of what I want to share. Um, and then, we'll just pray. I want to teach us tonight how to enforce the kingdom in our lives. How to enforce the kingdom. Matthew 6. Ah, Jesus inspires me. Goodness. I began to read this, the parables of Jesus. And I mean, those parables were just hitting me like arrows with mysteries. Hallelujah. If you are ever caught up to heaven or the realm of the spirit and you ever see God or angels, the proof that you truly saw God or anything divine is that you will return with more questions than the answers you got. You will come back with a lot of information but you will come back so confused. Your dependence in the Holy Spirit will increase as a matter of life and death because of the mysteries. Brothers and sisters, this kingdom is a kingdom of mysteries. I shared with us already that a mystery is a secret truth. A mystery is a hidden truth. Hidden truth hidden truth there are some mysteries that we have to really look at we may not we can't touch all of them that's to say we are reading we're exploring the bible from genesis to revelation but there are a few mysteries we have to touch one of it is enforcing the kingdom maybe next week we'll discuss the mystery of marriage not relationship and family talk at all the mystery of marriage the bible calls it a great mystery Efficiency. that means no unbeliever can truly understand marriage it's not about age anything that is a mystery is only given to the sons of the kingdom to understand hmm. he said it is given unto you to know the mysteries so men can see the bible says so that they seeing they may not see they can't understand hearing but they will not get it but there is a mystery when you understand this, you must be a good husband. The mystery of marriage. When you understand it, you must be a good wife. Whether you pick a wife from Borno and a husband from Niger Delta, no problem. A great mystery. Paul, there were few things in the Bible that Paul called a great mystery. He said, behold, I show you a mystery. And I told us last week that there are certain people by the election of grace, they are called stewards of the mysteries of God. Stewards, stewards, custodians, caretakers of the mysteries of the kingdom. Hallelujah. Enforcing the kingdom. What is the kingdom? The influence of the king. What is the kingdom? The summation of the value system, the ideologies of the king. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sorry, I may have to rush. I'm, I'm really, really sorry. Enforcing the kingdom talks about reproducing the reality of the king's culture. The king's culture. That's the best way to put it. A culture is the way of life of a people. Their way of operation. Reproducing the king's atmosphere. Reproducing the king's result. Forcing his decrees to work here and now in your life. There are principles. It's a mystery. Jesus was teaching the disciples how to pray. And he said something. Verse 6. Or let's start from verse, um, chapter 6 verse 9. After this manner therefore pray ye. Our father who art in heaven. Hallowed be your name. Verse 10 says what? Okay, it says, Thy kingdom come. Thy kingdom come. Three powerful words that sum up the desires of God 
for men in this system your kingdom replace that word kingdom with three words please you may not if you can do it wonderful number one your culture number two your principles number three your influence culture principle influence please all of us listen these teachings will make us kingdom people this is jesus telling the people that this is the father's desire because he said that i do nothing of my own as i see my father your what's the first word now so let's read it just in your mind just put culture there are you ready one to read your culture lord let your culture that way of life that makes heaven heaven i want it to come that way of life the culture of heaven let it come number two the principles of heaven that means the formula by which heaven runs its activities let it be transported to this realm here and now please follow me number three your influence what is your influence the jurisdiction of your control the jurisdiction of your control let it find expression this is jesus praying this prayer was not just something that they are supposed to be praying and reciting every day our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name this and that and that and all those things are just games jesus was saying something very serious the bible says the spirit searches the mind of god and in searching the mind of god he said your culture your principles your influence let it come you see why we sing songs like your kingdom reign are you following me now enforcing the kingdom what does it mean to enforce the kingdom it means to align yourself so that this prayer becomes answered in your life and across your territory enforcing the culture enforcing the kingdom hallelujah now this is very very important let me have somebody one lady Benga, come. One lady can come. Anybody? Where are you from, sir? You are from Kogi State. Stand here. Where are you from? Enugu, thank you. One Yoruba person. Yoruba, oh yeah. One house person. Real house or not? Katsina and or any of these people. Oh yeah, now. People want to embarrass your people now. Now, watch this. You are from where, Oga? Katsina. Real Katina, you are from Ondo, Kogi State. Watch this. These people represent different territories. Everybody say territory. You must understand this. I want to be very simple. I'm out of time. I know you, you may not remember what I'm saying, but you remember what I'm acting here. Are you getting my point? This lady is from the East, accustomed to the life and the culture of the East where the culture came from is not the issue is that is there now is that true are you following what i'm saying now uh -huh. this guy listen is from kogi state and there is a way there is a culture there is a life is that true this lady is a yoruba lady are you following me now there is a culture for instance if her mother were to come here you know how she's going to greet her right is that true this gentleman is from the north he and his father can go if assuming you were not a believer for instance he and his father can go to the same mat and pray and that's not disrespect in fact it's a sign of loyalty and commitment whereas in other cultures when men are sitting down women don't even come there are you getting what i'm saying so jesus looks at these people with their different cultures and he says when you pray if you must become true citizens of the kingdom pray that your kingdom overshadow what has been existing 
that has tilted the minds of the people to behave in a way that closes the spirit from finding expression. Are you getting the prayer now? And so he said, for that to happen, you must pray that your kingdom. That means when you get born again as an Igbo lady, you don't come and negotiate with God and say, Lord, remember I'm Igbo. I gave you my heart as Igbo. So all through our walk, where Igbo clashes with the kingdom, you will shift for me and let's continue moving. Are you getting my point now? The Katsina person says, look, Lord, the way we do our things, we are very, very diplomatic about it. Don't bring any kingdom thing. Now, what many believers want is that we take a culture, right? Come into the kingdom. When we come into the kingdom, we now begin to enforce our culture. Please, are you understanding what I'm saying? We now begin to enforce our culture. Now, not every aspect of culture is wrong. I hope you know that. But there are dangerous and devilish aspects of culture. And this culture was carved out by Babylon. This mystery that births and spews iniquity upon the face of the earth. So that when you keep practicing certain things, it permits the gates of hell to perpetually keep working in your life. Are you listening to me now? So, although you are born again, there are still ordinances that are holding you back. And because you are not ready to subscribe, you are a believer, but you are not ready to bend and subscribe to a higher kingdom. Are you getting my point now? But when you come into Christ, you die. And let me tell you the revelation of that death. To die means you cease to honor everything you honored before him. That's the way of the cross. Are you getting my point now? And when you come out from the other end, you are naked. The Holy Ghost is supposed to now begin to introduce you to a new culture. Supervised by the king himself. Not the traditional ruler in your village. That's why he himself is called the king. Many people know the savior, but they have not met the king. And let me tell you, you will never walk as an ambassador in the kingdom until you encounter the king. Because ambassadors are the envoys that represent the ideologies of the king. Please, are you getting what I'm saying? So, I come in with my culture. I even become a pastor with this culture and we carry all kinds of ideologies as we study scripture culture and the principles we have practiced now become the lens from which we judge and interpret scripture are you getting what i'm saying so it corrupts the authenticity of what the spirit is about to do that is the reason why when in Egypt, when they came out of Egypt, that's I told you, power is not enough to change people. They saw miracles, but the moment the going got tough, they said, Remember that calf that Pharaoh used to build now that helped them during one war? Aaron, come and help us. Let's help ourselves here. This maybe Moses is dead somewhere. God has killed him. You see that? Because they came out and they still brought Egypt with them. So when the going went tough, what happened? They negotiated with Egypt. It was not an Egyptian that built that calf, brothers and sisters. The same people. God's own Israel. This is how many of us are. We come out of the kingdom, but we have not left these things. This revelation, thy kingdom come, has not found expression in our lives. But when you come into the school of the spirit, the Lord now says there is neither male nor female. There is neither Jew nor Gentile. What is the revelation of that? He's introducing you to a new kingdom that is not dependent on your gender. A new kingdom that is not dependent on your prior ideology. Swallow your pride tonight. Come to the school of the spirit. Don't you know in his hands are the mysteries of eternal life. It's a little here, 
a little dear and soon your day will dawn is changing everything in obedience to Christ when Jesus was walking the Bible talks about a centurion a captain in the army he came to Jesus and he said my son is about to die and Jesus said alright I will come to him he said uh uh I know I'm a Jew and I said I mean a Roman soldier sorry and according to the custom of the Romans when 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 they call you you must come physically present and he said but I am a man under authority Jesus had him speaking kingdom language and Jesus said I'm interested talk I'm listening he said as a result of being under authority I can tell one go without coming physically and he will go and tell another come and Jesus say yeah I have not found this revelation you a Roman soldier who taught you this he said then go if you believe this brothers and sisters your degree of relinquishing the hold of your own principles and adopting that of the kingdom is the degree to which you will conform to the true image of the Christ here and now. That's why all things are not possible for everybody. I told you we are one in Christ. Revelation and alignment has separated us into different cadres. One star different from another in glory. So what is possible for brother A may not be possible for brother B. Same grace, same faith, same Lord, same baptism, different responses to that which the Spirit has given. That's why he gave unto one five talents, he gave unto one two. If he gave five and five, then we will know that it's a system that does not depend on our personal contribution. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Many people who teach that we all got the same thing. No, sir. The Bible tells me he gave five. He gave two. Not according to his desire to bless them. According to their stewardship that they have proven in time past. Hallelujah. So, a time comes when Taiwo's tradition and principles limit the Holy Spirit. God takes us so far. And when it's time to climb higher that which she must lay down becomes too much can god use me i'm a lady all i want to do is just marry that revelation is limiting god like the chains held the hands of samson those two hands represented the ministry of the apostolic and the prophetic they were bound and so nothing could happen because the foundation of the kingdom is built upon the apostles and the prophets christ himself being the chief cornerstone but the bible says when the spirit of god came the first thing that happened was the chains melted they became like flax so that it could now release the apostolic and the prophetic and he said give me the jawbone of an ass that's all i need you have taken all the glory you have taken all the praise you have taken all dominion you have taken all the praise you have made them yours the highest praise to the king he has taken all the glory he has taken all the praise he has taken all dominion. He has taken all the praise. You have made them yours. Highest praise to the king. For a very long time, when he called this patriarch called Abraham, he said, Abraham, come out of your father's house. There is something in your father's house that has the capacity to limit your prophetic destiny. I know it's your father's house, but come out of it. He said, out of all your kindred and go to a land, a, a city, a mountain, a place that I will show you. And if you obey me, I will make you blessed. In Genesis 12, it was not yet at work in his life. It was the prophecy of what would happen if he obeys. And the Bible says he left. And Lot... You see that? He was told to go alone. When he looked at Lot, he said, Lot, I've been with you or you come. 
amazing how we carry many things in the name of pity and they are the things that open the door for darkness at the apex of our breakthrough hallelujah and lot went with him a time came god said told abraham look let lot go what are you willing to let go for the excellency of this new culture listen the bible say ask for the ancient part in the kingdom there is no invention your creativity is useless in the kingdom you are not left to create anything at all are you getting what i'm saying as far as working with god is concerned your expertise and your creativity is taking advantage of his spirit to enforce the kingdom here but as far as your work with god is concerned your personal initiative is not necessary the bible says, ask for the ancient path it didn't say create a road and tie it ask for it there's already a road ask for it and walk and you will find rest for your souls in other words refuse to ask for it and keep struggling following roads and come and find yourself in the same spot again is someone hearing what i'm saying so god desires that regardless see this sister can never relate with benga truly and sincerely if both of them do not adopt a higher kingdom that is greater than the, are you getting my point a time will come when their personal ideologies will clash why am i entering next week already i don't want to steal into the mystery of marriage and you will know why without the adoption of the culture of the kingdom there's no such thing as family peace union between man and a woman i love you i love you junk if you do not adopt this kingdom you will some people's head clash every day because their cultures are east and west what they say don't do in this culture is exactly what you need to do to be a good citizen when i talk of culture i don't just mean tradition i mean your way of life hallelujah are you getting my point now when i submit to the culture of the kingdom if this is my wife and i want to stand here and she wants to stand here we both of us look and say look we are fighting here where does the king want and the king said two of you go back we submit our personal wills to adopt that of the kingdom this is the only basis where brothers can dwell together in unity are you getting my point now many of us are holding strong to devilish ideologies let me give you one for instance secular music and godly music i'm hitting somebody now yes i'll say it again delete that junk from your phone don't let anybody let you know that christians are you know we have this ugly mindset about christians that they are old school they are the ones left behind just allow your foolishness to keep deceiving you in the future you will see how far we have gone hallelujah a lot of people listen to all kinds of things and we laugh and we are happy not knowing that music carries a spirit every song carries a spirit that writes upon your heart huh when it writes upon your heart it's like a spiritual slate you begin to feed off that writing that was the revelation that the devil was bringing to jesus turn this stone into bread there was something that was written on stone when moses was on the mountain he said turn it to become bread in other words let that be your basis of living and he said no man shall not live by this are you hearing what i'm saying there are many things that are militating us so when we talk about this transformation this transformation you must align yourself ah i refuse to talk about marriage this night please i want peace is till next week come next week prepared somebody can be married for 50 years and be married wrongly working with an ideology he can write a wrong book and i was i was sharing with pastor alpha and his wife this afternoon we're just having some time together someone can be married for 50 60 years that's why when you see an elder who loves god and fears god and has a great home listen to him because he has two advantages experience and the spirit of god 
There are many people writing all kinds of books about marriage. Their personal experience has become the template for them to initiate other people. So they say certain things are not possible based on the limitations they faced. Not knowing that if they only aligned some more to the kingdom, some things would have become possible. Hallelujah. Say, I submit to the government of heaven. So, Ibo, how far are you willing to go with God? As far as submitting yourself to pick up the ideologies of the king is concerned. I don't just mean your culture in terms of village. The way you are behaving. It's generally believed that Igbo people like money. And they can do everything for it. Don't laugh. That's a culture. When you come to the kingdom, what says the spirit to the church? What is the new ideology? Are you going to join that band of fruitless hustlers? I must make it. My share of the national cake. Although you are a Christian, you are born again, but it's limiting you. So you cannot honor the law of process. You cannot walk with the spirit accordingly. Hallelujah. Kogi people. Middle belters, all right, or northerners. There are strong ideologies that we have held as a territory. Are we willing to let some of these things go? When you are angry and you tell somebody you will see, you now run and there's somebody stationed to deal with you and bring everything to justice. But the Bible says vengeance is mine. So you now have two kingdoms. Choose ye this day. I set before you. Hallelujah. It's believed that Yoruba people love education so much and they can press for it. Need to have a degree, do this, go abroad, come back, do this and that. But to what degree are you willing to yield to the spirit so that you become a true spiritual man, not limited by intellect alone? Knowing that the race is not to the swift and the battle is not to the strong. It is not of him that willeth, nor of him that runneth, but the Lord that showeth mercy said it is vain to wake up in the morning and to sleep late at night only to eat the bread of sorrow but he gives unto his beloved sleep are you hearing what i'm saying who is this one um the northern and house man what are you willing to lay down it's generally believed that northerners are not serious with their wives. They are less fair and careless. The man's job is just to give birth and then allow the woman go to farm and suffer and do that. Don't just forget. We're going to talk about that one next week. Praise God. See, ah, you see, the thing about marriage is that marriage is the greatest example between our relationship and Christ and this enforcing the kingdom. That's why I keep jumping there. If Benga, ah, uh -uh, come, my brother. If this guy is going to marry um, Taiwo, brothers and sisters, except another kingdom superimposes them, there is war. Everybody shout war. war. War that will not end. You know that Anglican statement, war without end. Because there will be clash of values. Many of us go to God in prayer. And we approach God with certain mindsets. That are limiting God. And the Bible says they limited him in the wilderness by saying can God. When you share a word like in the name of Jesus. The hand of God will come upon your exams. Your mindset suddenly says forget. If you read, you read. If you don't read, you will fail. Your mindset has become a limiting factor. You had the testimony of the, of the person who just checked the jam. I know many of you think it's a lie. If you are giving your way now and say, let's verify this thing. Even that genotype thing, I'm not very sure. This is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. Praise the Lord. That's what you are saying. Say, forget Jare. Which doctor? Let's check. Let's go back. I must be there. Thomas was there. And he did the same thing. 
Are you getting what I'm saying? You see that all the disciples that Jesus walked with represented different ideologies. Peter was so impulsive. He was an extrovert. One moment, don't wash my feet. The other moment, bath me. Thomas, you know, all kinds of people. But all of them came into an alignment. Are you getting my point? Such that it didn't matter who entered any city. The Holy Ghost was comfortable to do the same thing. This is kingdom. Thy kingdom come. Say it upon your life. The kingdom come. Thy kingdom come. When the kingdom comes upon your finances, you stop running finances like shit and run. This nonsense people do around. You go to Abuja and see people running. Everybody is running. I, I was watching, I think it was NTA this afternoon, and they were showing a Good Luck Jonathan. I think they went for something campaign in Equity State. Or this, and I saw all the people dancing on the road. I said, but do these people really love this country? Or is it that the hunger is too much? They are muzzling the last ounce of energy to just dance it so that when the money comes, they can negotiate after the, the, the conference. Has the kingdom come over your finances or you are still running it the way you know? Go to school, get a job, hope to get a very great job. Wonderful. But have you, have you had the opinion of the king? Do you know there is an economic system in this kingdom that was there before you were born? Have you been interested in subscribing to it? The Bible said, taste and see that the Lord, it didn't say wish and complain. Be serious. How do you taste food? You go and sit down in the restaurant. You sit down for as long as the food is being prepared. While he's preparing the table before you in the presence of your enemies, you must sit down. And then you would taste and testify. And say, that which we have seen, that which we have heard, that which our hands have handled, even that of the word of life, that's what we preach. Has the kingdom come upon your soul to change your character? Brothers and sisters, this is very important. There are many Christians without character. You can walk out immediately after the grace and give one sister a dirty slap because you are entering bus. You see, forget the fact that I sat down in front. Oh, you try me, I wound you. I'm not one of these guys that like looking for women. Don't think I like you. Look at this. This guy just spent three hours rolling on the floor and worshiping now he wants to give a lady a slap the next time somebody does like that tell him thy kingdom <laughs> hallelujah when somebody carries his mouth and you are lambasting somebody a brother just comes and says i like your shoe no 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 no. i'm not this kind of people let me tell you something i'm not this kind of boy just say brother just say thy kingdom you need the influence of the kingdom. Have you allowed the kingdom to come upon your academics? Do you not know that the spirit of God came upon a man called Daniel? And changed him, literally. He learned the art and the language of the Babylonians. And the Bible says he was distinguished. But every time they are talking, say me, I had one P, four C, I added Neko. It even allowed me and gave me two years to make it up. And you take that mindset. Have you allowed the kingdom to come? Please, is my message making sense tonight? In your body, you will keep dying of terminal disease until you allow the kingdom to come. So you are healed one moment from miracle service, but you now go back and this happens again. No, come, oh, come, Emmanuel, and ransom captive Israel. Oh, come, oh, come, Emmanuel, and ransom captive Israel. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel, 
shall come to thee, O Israel. God is coming to you tonight and saying, how long are you willing to keep remaining at this level? You have a ministry. God wants to take you to a high level, but your limitation. There is a message you had that has refused to allow the kingdom come. And you keep wondering, why is this thing not working? And then out of frustration, you just say, anybody that is doing it is fake. Forget it. All these people. Rejoice. Rejoice. Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel. When it comes to you, he walks upon your mind. When it comes to you, he changes your ideology. Don't tell me I'm from Edo State. Don't tell me I'm from Plateau State. Don't tell me I'm from Lagos. Are you willing to subscribe to the governing influence of the king? Three ways you enforce the kingdom. Very quickly, please sit down. Number one. Look at me. To enforce the kingdom, you must understand the mysteries of the kingdom. The principles that govern the operation of God's system. But it so happens that these mysteries are so many, our lifetime will not be able to... Follow me, please. I'm trying to construct the first... Um, the first way of enforcing the kingdom. The mysteries that govern the operation of the kingdom. Remember I showed you the creation before Genesis 1. Remember when we're talking about what? Laws of dominion or something. I told you there was a creation before Genesis 1. Is that true? And I showed you, isn't it? How that the foundations of the earth was created. That creation story was even more comprehensive than Genesis 1. That was when the foundations of the earth was laid upon pillars. Right? And I told you the sons of God is not a New Testament concept. It has been there. When the sons of God sang for joy. Are you getting my point now? So there are mysteries. The earth is not round. It's not suspended in the space. That's what science told us. But the Bible says it has pillars. The pillars extend to the sea. The Bible says God put doors at the borders of every river. That means every time we see flooding, a spirit manipulated a spiritual law because there are doors. Emmanuel. See, this is what you know that you won't be deceived. When people just say, water just came and washed the house, you say, uh-uh, come on now. I read in my Bible, there are doors. He put boundaries. But by the manipulation of spiritual laws, you can extend their boundaries. I told you, a man can be accurate but not be of God. Spiritual laws are ne not necessarily heavenly laws. In the kingdom, laws can be initiated by any spirit. Any demon spirit, human spirit. That's why a herbalist can concoct something for you and it will work. Because he's manipulating the laws of the spirit. But for kingdom citizens, that law must be initiated, sustained by the spirit of the Christ. That's what makes it of God. Are you getting what I'm saying? You can go to somebody by the riverside right now. The person will buff out all your problems. And truly, you'll find out that your problems left. Because he manipulated a law. But it so happens that if the spirit of God is not the one who initiated the process, there will still be a window left. Only the spirit of God knows the mystery to the final door of evil. Every other person will leave a signature that shows. So you can look at somebody's visitation of a man of God or of somebody and know that it's not God this person met. There was still a window. Are you, are you getting what I'm saying tonight? Oh, I wish I had time. This gives you spiritual intelligence. I remember um, where I did my secondary school, they had, they, they understood the art and science of holy rain. It will never rain on their market day. That was the source of their livelihood. They had enchanters who could look. 
and know which law can keep the cloud suspended. And then in the night, around two, no wind, no nothing, a heavy rain will now come. What's the compensation? There is something, of course. Remember the law of exchange. There is always a compensation. Don't let anybody fool you. You don't get nothing for nothing in the kingdom. That thing is not true. If you got it free, somebody paid for it. There is always an exchange. Always. So the next time you hear that there is flooding around, don't join ignorant people to just say, wow, the climate is changing. No. No. These spirits are invoking a spiritual formula that extends the borders of the rivers. But when the kingdom citizens show up, like Joshua, we have mastered the mysteries of the kingdom and we can look at the rod of Pharaoh and drop the rod of God and it will swallow it right in their presence and not increase weight. And we tell the sorcerers, explain the mystery of swallowing two snakes and not increasing in size. Where did they go to? You answer mysteries with mysteries. See, let me tell you, in the days that will come, it will be a clash of mantles. Men will talk very little. Something else will be speaking. That which God trained them with is what they will use. Hmm. That's what can make people hire you and keep you in a walk. They just say you are you are part of the board of advisors. You are not doing anything. Your presence is forcing mysteries to work in the favor of that company. And they say, oh God, you are part of the board of directors. For what? Oh, they will need us. Goodness, we are a city set on a hill. Trust me. Trust me. Bishop used to work with a man. I won't mention his name because people are listening. Bishop Stan used to work with a man. As graduates, he paid them 50000 but he paid the men of God that came to work with him 1.2. You know why? Because they have mastered the art and science of manipulating spiritual laws. Sorcerers and diviners in Bible days were not elected. They were the closest people to the king because if they leave him, he would die. They leave all the farmers and intelligent people to be killing themselves outside. And those who understand the art and science of controlling this realm. Hmm. And Job said, has thou commanded thy mourning? How do you command your mourning? Brothers and sisters, when you know what you can know, it will... Aye. Grant us grace. This is what the patriarchs knew that made them sons of God. Twelve men in the Old Testament. It has always been twelve. It's the system of God's government. Twelve men who manifested bodily the summation of mysteries that made them afraid. And Elijah the Tishbite showed up from wherever nobody knows. And how he got to the mountain, the Bible doesn't tell us. You think that man will just keep climbing the mountain like that? We just know he sat down at the top of the mountain. And the armies came with their spears. He said, really? They've trained you in the art of war. Those guys were so excellent. They could, they could, diverge, they could diverge arrows with slings. They were so accurate. But Elijah said, I don't have time for this business. Let fire come from heaven the disciples saw jesus do a lot of mystery that's why one day they said jesus let's come out fire jesus didn't say you cannot do it he said do you not know what spirit you are of in other words i'm showing you other mysteries you see what jesus kept teaching them he didn't finish the lecture that's why after resurrection he kept them for 50 days 40 days and he was teaching them the matters of the kingdom after that he said goodbye i can leave you now goodness and we, one man called Bad Jesus meandered. Have you heard the story? Bad what? Bad Jesus. Paul said, ah! In Acts chapter 16, I think it was 16 or 19, when they saw a lady with the spirit of divination bringing a lot of money to all their people by giving people word of knowledge. So you see that it worked, right? For whatever reason, a spirit entered that lady and trained her in the art of interpreting spiritual things. When Paul looked, Paul could not see, but he used another mystery that opened his eyes. 
And he said, uh uh, this is not of God. May God make strong men out of us. Not just by impartation, but by knowledge. You will walk everywhere and read the handwritings on the wall. That what men are not seeing, you will see. You will enter your house and somebody will say, I have stomach ache. And you say, no, I need to fast. This is not about stomach ache. I have connected the dots. This is the dart of evil. And you come out after 24 hours and say, it's well. Ah, ah. Somebody just says, I have another stomach ache. You say, it's well. I know what I saw. Three days later, the family opens up to unspeakable breakthrough. You think they want you to come back home? There are some of you, they don't want you to come back home because you are, you are adding to the, the mysteries. You are not solving it. Why is it that when you come back home, things finish unusually? Whereas the prophet showed up and said, surely the, the oil will not finish. This and that will not finish. We're going to pray shortly. Dominion is not an impartation. Dominion is on the strength of the mysteries of the kingdom that you understand. He said it has been given unto you to know. See, when Adam was created, some things were told Adam that Eve did not know. That's why God held Adam responsible. Before Eve showed up, some informations were given Adam. For instance, part of the things that were taught, I believe with all my heart, was God gave him a story of the creation. God told him a lot of things. He knew that water was responsible for abundance. I hope you know. We've shared it here, right? That the things that came out, they came out from the water. The Bible tells us the birds of the air, the fish, they all came out from the water. This is another mystery. That's why the Bible says there are three that bear witness in heaven. The spirit, the word, and what? No, it can't be water. In heaven... But he said in the earth realm, there are three that bear witness. So the spirit bears witness both in heaven and in the earth. The common factor, both in heaven and in the earth. The spirit, the water, and the blood. And I told you this represents three dispensations of the manifestation of the church, right? The, the dispensation of the spirit was a charismatic age from their Susa street and all of that. So people laid emphasis on the manifestation and the workings of the spirit. And then the word of faith started coming. That's the dimension of the water. They started teaching people accurately the things of the word. And before Christ comes, the manifestation of the blood. Not as a teaching, as a lifestyle. Because the blood represents the very life of God. That's what will open the gates. So gates that were shut will be opened. Because of certain mysteries. Brothers and sisters. The kingdom of God. Seeks to find expression in your life. But because there are so many mysteries for us to learn. We can only touch so much. Listen to me. There are so many. It will take us a lifetime. So the Holy Spirit identified it as a predicament in us. And he said. There is another mystery. That will help you connect to principles that you do not know. But they will work for you. And then the Bible starts saying, for we know not how to pray. He said, this is the limitation. Are you hearing me now? Follow me, please. He said, no man knows the heart of a man save the spirit of that man. So no man knows the heart of God save the spirit of God. And then he begins to communicate a limitation that every believer, no matter how strong, we have that limitation. What's the limitation? We know not what to pray for as we ought to. That means we don't know how to use the correct spiritual laws to the accuracy that will give us all the results that we need. But there was a technology that was kept to help our inadequacy. He said, but the spirit itself make it what? This is a mystery. Make it intercession for us with groanings that cannot be uttered. Aha. So when you begin to pray, this mystery was not taught Satan. This is what confuses demons. I hope you know Satan, Lucifer, I told us already, Lucifer was what? Light bearer. He was the custodian of the revelations. He thought he saw everything about God. He did not know that there were other mysteries that were hidden. So he deceived the one third of the angels. He said, guys, 
just follow me i can tell you i have every knowledge of god in my hands i can even be god right now and it will not change the system of heaven and god said really there was war in heaven god didn't even stand up from his throne it was michael michael fought him so when he came down he came down he became lower than the cherubs and all of that then that's why he looked for adam i told you the first person who was in the garden of eden was who lucifer not adam lucifer was the first person in the garden of eden he was driven out that's why when adam came it got him angry you see what satan has with men so when he collected the adamic authority at that point he became greater than all the angels second to only the trinity that was why when archangel michael came and they were fighting over the body of moses are you are you seeing it now because at that point he was higher than him he could not use that strength again so he invoked a higher power the lord rebuke you hold on are you are you getting my point now mm. when jesus was born because satan was working with adamic authority even jesus ran away for his life otherwise satan would have killed him when satan took jesus to the mountain jesus did not say satan go away no he followed him and satan said all these glories what mountain did they climb that they saw the glories of the world all at once is that not a mystery where do you stand in the earth that you see all the glories but he showed him at once he said it has been given to me ah yeah and so he said let me give you the shortcut why go and die and do all of this nonsense because he knew that there is coming another law he had seen water it was the water that parted the red sea and brought separation between egypt and israel it was the adumbration of baptism but he saw an adumbration of the blood of the lamb in egypt and because he knows that prophetic things must have a physical explanation he started following anything that looks like blood so he said jesus this one that you have come now why just bow down to me and collect this thing jesus said no problem i will collect it anyway so when he met with it in hell he said i've come to collect it now see see jesus defeated satan without the help of the holy spirit because the holy spirit had left him he was in hell are you getting me that was why after the third day the same spirit that raised him back that means he came back on the third day raised by the spirit of god and when satan jesus collected the keys stripped satan of it that's why in revelation he said i am he that was dead but now i am alive and i hold the keys he's got it back that's what he gave us in redemption seven blessings what is the lamb who was slain to receive he has received unto us blessings riches those seven things he gave it to us he said as my father has sent me i send you with it but he said hold on don't just run foolishly the holy ghost there are many things i want to tell you but you cannot bear them now they will be needed for you to be effective how be it when he the spirit of truth is come he will guide you he will teach you the other part of the lessons Thy kingdom come. So when you begin to pray, that's the first way of enforcing the kingdom. As I begin to pray in the spirit, there are all kinds of codes and mysteries being manipulated in the spirit for my favor. So you can pray. Listen, I shared a revelation with Pastor Alpha and his wife this afternoon. When you pray, I hope you know you are sowing seeds. Is that true? And the Bible says, to every seed, God can change the body and give it another body. So I can be praying and all of a sudden it will manifest in my finances. God has given it another body. I can pray in tongues and it will manifest in my health. Are you getting me? God can give seeds another body. Are you seeing why it's important to pray in the spirit? For we have a limitation. We know not what we should pray for. Brothers and sisters, hear me here. If you are not baptized with the Holy Ghost with evidence of praying in fluent tongues, fluent tongues, you need to have a meeting with the prayer band people. Hallelujah. Fluent tongues is your lifeline 
out of this nonsense. This assault of the devil. They will manipulate your life with spiritual principles. I know a lot of people have thought that everything is okay once you are born again. Wait on. See, the laws of the spirit are not the laws of the Old Testament. They predate creation. Hallelujah. It was that same law that brought water for Hagar in the desert. She looked around and there was no water. And when the angel appeared, he opened her eyes. And there was water flowing. That means what you do not see does not mean it's not there. Something can happen in the spirit and make it manifest. There was water. She could not drink because she could not see it. What did the angel do to her eyes? The same thing Elisha did to his servant. Hallelujah. Prayer. Number two. You enforce the kingdom. You enforce the kingdom in the place of deep worship. Very few people understand worship. Please, if you are here and you've not cultivated the life of worship, you can meet the worship team members after the service and say, how do I cultivate a life of worship? Not an event of, cult of worship that you hold, Mike. A life of worship. Just like we did. That's why when we came, the Holy Ghost allowed us to bask in that presence. When that thing happens, the presence of God can enforce the reality of the kingdom. Hallelujah. One more. You enforce the kingdom by the ministry of the word. Both studying it and speaking it. Not just blind religious speaking. I'm blessed, I'm blessed, I'm blessed, I'm blessed. That kind of speaking that doesn't carry any weight. But that you say, I am blessed. Out of a depth of conviction, you enforce the kingdom. Son of man, what seest thou? Ezekiel 37. Or Ezekiel 37. Son of man, can these bones live again? He said, only thou knowest. He said, enforce it. I prophesied as I was commanded. And the Bible says, let the redeemed of the Lord do what? Which so? That means let the healed of the Lord say what? Let the prosperous of the Lord do what? So you say so. Comes from the word homologio. Repeat after the person you just had. And so you speak. My life is blessed. I'm a man of character. I'm a woman of character. You are enforcing the kingdom. I have no business with sickness. Hallelujah. My path is as a shining light. Even when you see things that contradict your faith, you know that there is a reality higher than what you have seen. And you enforce it with your words. There were things I planned to do, but right now something has been stirred up in the spirit. And let's just ride with it. Lift your hands. He has been made Lord above thrones, dominions, and every name that has been named. I'm about to challenge principalities and powers. The powers that has kept you bound. Many of us are under yokes and spells of darkness. I tell you as you shout that name, we will invoke his presence. There will be a mighty deliverance. Mighty deliverance everywhere, inside and outside. At the count of three, listen. Goodness. At the count of three, you're going to shout that name. Many of our issues and problems are tied to demonic oppressions. But as you shout that name, the sword from the hand of Elohim will strike through your life and cause a separation between you and anything God has not planted. There will be mighty deliverances. I see mighty deliverances that will happen even outside. Are you ready? At the count of three, shout it with all your heart and there will be breaking of curses and yokes. Are you ready now? One. Two. Get ready, get ready. The fire of God is everywhere. Three. I command devils, come out, come out. Yokes, be broken. Yokes, 
be broken. Yokes be broken. Yokes be broken. I confront powers. I confront principalities. Activities of witchcraft by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Outside. Outside. In the name of Jesus. Everyone under the influence of every power that is not of God. I command those demons. Go, 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 go. I keep the chains falling, falling. I keep the chains falling. Rekete ba 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 ba. I keep the chains falling. For I need the change for me. Break chains. Break. That's the command in the spirit. Break chains. Break. It must leave you tonight. Break chains. Hallelujah. Straight up, God is going to be breaking the chains of delayed marriage. Lift your hands, everybody. Delay. The Lord is instructing me to cause that spirit that came from all kinds of ancestral activities. Believe it or not, Wickedness is real. It has tied down many of us, even maritally, especially our families. Hallelujah. You're going to shout that name, Jesus, one more time. And as you shout that name, anyone under the sound of my voice, whether you or your family members, you may not even know that this may be an influence over your life. But tonight in this pool of Bethesda, as you shout that name, my God will visit you and tear apart anything that is causing a delay. Lift your hands. Goodness, I see many ladies who will receive their deliverance right now. At the count of three, with the clash of the symbol alone. One, two, three. Now I cause that spirit. I cause that spirit. Powers, powers of darkness, spirit husband, spirit wife, I curse you, I curse you by the power of the Holy Ghost, I curse you, bring them out, I curse you by the power of the Holy Ghost, release their marriages, every spirit that you have been covenanted with, that is stopping you, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, bring them out. Get Gates of marriage be open. Gates of marriage be open. Gates of marriage. Be open. Gates of marriage that has been tied down. Hallelujah. We are still going to pray. This is not all of it. Hey. Hallelujah. There must be a breaking. Right now it will happen. Some of you, it may not be directly on your life, but your family members. The sword of judgment is coming upon altars of darkness. 
that say you will not marry him lift your hands my god i thank you for the fire of the holy ghost when i count three shout that name that power must let you go that power must let you go i come tonight with an apostolic unction in the name of jesus hear my sound in the realm of the spirit that at the count of three let god's people go one two three let them go i command the release exodus exodus from this land of delay exodus i prophesy i decree i declare establish it they must go tonight they must go tonight they must go tonight Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This row, just lift your hands. Just this row, lift your hands. Because I see the angels of God standing and I'm wondering why they are concentrated on this row. Listen, when I count three, I see the angels of God moving with cups, but they have fire in them and they'll be pouring it on people. It's still an aspect of deliverance. At the count of three, this will happen. Thank you, my God. One, two, three. Let the angels move right now. Let there be a movement, a stirring, a stirring. A stirring, a separation, a stirring by the power, the fire, the power, the fire of the Holy Ghost. Rekete, Kopros, bring them out. I hear the chains falling, falling. I hear the chains falling. There is power. In the name of Jesus, there is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Hallelujah. Gabriel, who is Gabriel? Gabriel. Gabriel. The Lord is ministering to me. Gabriel. I give the chain. Gabriel, I hear the chain falling. I hear the chain. Bring this lady. Chains break. Chains. Let her go now. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Look at this lady has been tied down. Hallelujah. This is the cause of hardship on our family. There's nothing that they do that will succeed. It doesn't matter what happens. But right now, I instruct you because I see you in the spirit realm. 
Go. Go right now. Go. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Let her go. The same thing is happening to that lady. Let her go now. Let her go. One or shall lay your hands on her. Both of them, both of them. Go. Go right now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. I command in the realm of the Spirit. Go. Go. Oh. Break chains. Break. Hallelujah. Now listen. All the people in front here, God brought them out. I'm not speaking to them. I'm speaking to every spirit that was identified. You know my voice. At the count of three, I instruct you. To let God's people go at the count of three by the fire of the Holy Ghost. You are leaving God's people now. One, two, three, go, 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 go. Come out of them right now. Come out of them now. Bring that lady. Bring that lady. Hey! I hear the chains falling. This lady is acutely under demonic oppression. Acutely. Bring her. Chains falling. Hey. Hey. I hear the chains falling. Come. Just leave her, she will come. I hear the chains, I hear the chains falling. I hear How can a lady do this? Chains. Come back, come and kneel down here. Right now, leave her. Leave her alone. Come right now. Hey. You just leave her. You will see the power of God in this place today. Hallelujah. Listen, I want to pray for people with pain in the chest. A number of people with pain around the chest pain around the chest region hallelujah lay your hands there right now ulcer peptic ulcer chains leave her she will come Right here by the power of the Holy Ghost. Please lay your hands. As I pray for you, listen, a number of you are going to feel something just leave you. When that happens to you, please run and come out here. A num you will literally feel something leaving you. When that happens, let's have those people here. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lay one hand and lift one hand up. Let me pray for you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Just help me with a symbol. Right now, in the name of Jesus, be healed. Be healed. Whatever is holding you, peptic ulcer, be healed. I command that spirit out of them now. Out of them now. Out of them now. That spirit, leave them now. Be healed. Be healed by the power of the Holy Ghost. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. In the name of Jesus. Now check yourselves. Check yourselves. Do what you couldn't do. Hallelujah. I'm seeing someone with a severe pain on your kneecap. Just this kneecap. Very severe pain. In fact, it even affects you sometimes when you are walking. Where? Which of them? How long has it been? Two weeks now. 
Okay. Lay your hands there. Both of you. Pastor, right? You're a pastor? Okay, no. I, I, lay your hands. That devil is a liar. Look at me. What's wrong with you? Huh? I've been having this knee problem. The bone is very tiny. The bone is tiny. And the load is heavy. And the load is heavy on it. I even felt Hold my hands. Way. It's okay. Bone grow in the name of Jesus. Grow. I cast that devil. Grow. I command you. Grow. Grow. Lay your hands and I'll pray for you right now. As I lay my hands upon you, please test yourself and do what you couldn't do. Thank you, Jesus. Let the power of God come upon you right now. Please check yourself as I pray for you. Right now, by the power of the Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus, check yourself. Check yourself. Check yourself. God is doing miracles already. Check yourself. Any pain? Any pain? Yeah. Just. No, no, no. Come on, give Jesus praise. God is healing people right now. Any pain? Any pain? Don't pretend it. Don't worry. God is healing you. Are you feeling any pain? Do what you couldn't do before. Look at this. Come on now. Look at this. Thank you, Jesus. Hold my hands. God is going to set you free. Hold my hands. We need to pray for you because I see you lying down. Touch that guy. Just look at me. God is setting your family free in the name of Jesus Christ by the power of the Holy Ghost. What is this that I'm seeing? I'm seeing money, but it's tied with snakes. This is what I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit. The Lord is bringing financial restoration. Lord, let it be. I stretch my hands by the force of the Holy Ghost, using him as a point of contact in the name that is above all names. Let there be breakthroughs in the name of Jesus. God bless you. God bless you. Victoria, Victoria, I'm hearing the name Victoria. Please, if I call your name or your case, just hurry up. We have a lot to do so that we can. Victoria, there are two Victorias outside. There are two Victorias that are supposed to come outside. Where are you coming from? Outside here, yeah? Victoria. There's one more Victoria outside. Both of you are outside. The Lord will visit you. How are you, my dear? Are you married? No, sir. You know why? Do you know why? No, That's one of the reasons why you came here, B. Yes, Is that not so? Yes, you were praying to God and you told God to visit you, man. Yes, sir. Is that, do you know me? No, Have sir. we talked with you? No, sir. The devil that has stopped your marriage must let you go, right? Amen. Now. You believe that? Yes, sir. Because there was a time a man came into your life and he, was, he looked like he was serious uh, for reasons you cannot even explain. Yes, he just sir. gave flimsy reasons and left. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Do you know why he left? I don't know. This is what I'm telling you. I see this all the time. I'm seeing the face of an old woman. It's not your face I'm seeing. This is what is driving men from you. It doesn't matter what kind of man comes. Something must happen and he will leave. But tonight, we see the chains falling. Hold my hands. I curse that spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. I need to pray for you too. Lay your hands on your stomach. If I don't pray for you, when it's almost time for marriage, they are going to tell you that there is a cyst growing in your stomach. Because sometimes you feel pain. Is that not? Now, even now, even now pain you are yet. feeling pain. Yes, sir. Especially during your period. Yes. The pain is very I severe. Know, and you have sometimes even irregular is when it's supposed to stop. It doesn't stop at that time. Yes, it is this thing we want to destroy. Hold my hands. Break. Chains. Break. You will feel like fire going through your stomach. The pain will go right now. Thank you, Jesus. Check yourself. Check it. 
to eat yourself any pain any pain that's the power of the holy ghost i release you we call your husband not a man your husband wherever he is i connect you you will come and testify in the name of jesus this year 2014 i lay my hands upon you and i release you to your marital destiny Where's your mother? Is she fine? I need to pray for her. The devil wants to put sickness in your mother. Father, for your mercy. I want to pray for somebody. Listen, this is a family and there is no reason to be embarrassed. That lady on pink, just touch her. Come. No, just where she, she stand there. Look at me. Lift your hands and look at me. Just look at me. Father, as you deliver her, let the power of God go to her family. In the name of Jesus Christ, let the power of God touch you and set you free and set your family members free. In the name of Jesus Christ. Why are you all out? Eh? You are all Victoria. There's someone here. Please don't feel embarrassed. They took you to a harbor list. Listen. They took you to a harbor list and they gave you something to drink. Please, who is that person? I'm not saying you are bad. This is not, this is a family. Please. It's very important. The Lord is instructing me. I want to pray for you and break that thing. Please. This is a family thing. It's not even like it's just you. Please. We need to break this. There's, there's no reason to be embarrassed. Hallelujah. Can I pray for your mother? Hold my hands. Father, sickness will never return to the mother. I set you free right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Come, Victoria. Look at me. May God visit your family. Please, this person I've spoken about, please make sure you come out. Don't, don't be embarrassed. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. They took you to a harbor list. They gave you something. One kind of, you are the one? Is he the one? You are the one? This thing is affecting you. Wait, stand up. Look at me. Don't feel bad. Just stand up. Stand up. Let me talk to you. Look at me. If I don't pray for you, you will die this year because this thing is going to kill you. Are you getting my point? That's why I called you out. Please remove his glasses. Hold it for it. Let, let it not break. Hold my hands. Because this guy sees dead people in his dreams and he doesn't even know why. Hold my hands. Hold it with both of your hands. The power of God will come through your life body right now and you'll be delivered blotting out every handwriting and ordinance right now be free everything you have taken inside your body that is destroying you go be free right now sister let me pray for you look at me there is bad luck in your life Everything works well for others until it gets to your point. Huh? Is that true? We need to pray very seriously. Even you, you are worried about your relationship with Jesus Christ. Huh? You know what I'm talking about, right? You see, listen, it's either you are for God completely. Part of the reason why a lot of people get into trouble is that you're halfway with God, halfway with something else. Hallelujah. Tonight, part of what will happen to you is that a fire will be planted in your spirit in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Can I pray for you, my dear? Look at me. Why am I seeing rings on your hand? Physically, there are no rings, but I'm seeing rings on all your ten fingers. Look at me. I need to pray for you. Huh? 
you need to be very very serious with God welcome home God loves you and he wants to transform your life huh? but for now you'll be delivered right thank you Jesus right now I curse this spirit leave her now I see you in the realm of the spirit and it's time for you to go take away this devilish thing you are put in her life right now out I hear the chains falling You are not standing in for yourself but for your elder sister God wants to visit her lay your hands on your stomach because what is happening to her will happen to you Lord I take out anything you did not plant in her sister's body even right now by the power of the Holy Spirit let there be restoration in the name of Jesus Christ I need to break the spirit of loss from your life. Huh? I need to break it. I'm not saying you're a bad girl. Are you getting my point? Hold my hands. Just look at me. You are a devil of darkness. Leave this girl now. Go! Out of her now. Break chains. Your eyes is open, but in the spirit you are blind. And God needs to open your eyes. That's why you are in a lot of confusion. Father, let her eyes be open right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I break the spirit of timidity from your life. And you too. Same thing. Same thing. Out! Leave her. God has not given us the spirit of fear. Break on your stomach just look at me Lord set her free from this pain something will come upon you right now and that demonic pain will go let her go hallelujah hallelujah Where's the woman that came with her family from Abuja? Is she here? Quickly, madam, come with all your children. Please, all of them. Celebrate them as they come quickly. Break. Your time of visitation has come. That devil that oppresses you. Just give flowing strings. Please just play something for me. Witchcraft. This is what is destroying the whole family. Witchcraft. This is not just the issue of prayer and fasting. This is the issue of deliverance out of this. Right? Where is the son? Come. Something comes upon you. You feel like something comes upon you. And when it comes upon you, you do a lot of destructive things. You will even have power that ordinarily you won't be able to have. Is that true? You feel that kind of thing? Yeah. You will be delivered. Yeah. Right? Amen. Madam, I need to pray even for the finance of the family. It's not like you are lazy, but you are suffering for nothing. Is that true? Please help us. Is this mic working? Hallelujah. Okay, don't worry. We'll just use one. Is that? Yes, sir. I need to pray for you. Huh? When someone works so hard, so hard, and then in the end of it, there is nothing to write home about. It's an error, but the Lord will correct it. My brother, the Lord bless you. You're born again. You love Jesus. Yes, Just you or your children. Myself and my children. Hold my hands, my brother. Look at me. Jesus will set you free right now. Right? You believe that? Hold my hands. Let's cast that devil of darkness out of your life. Father, by your mercy... In the name of Jesus. Go! 
That's the end. It's free. I need to pray for you. You're going to feel like fire from my hands to your hands. And within two weeks, you will have a major financial restoration. Two weeks. You believe it? Jesus, confirm your word right now. Out of her. Now. Out of her. That devil of darkness. I command financial restoration for you. Where are the children? Both of you. You love God. You are going to teach the word. You. Huh? This boy, he's going to love God. And he's going to... You know this now. God has already told you. Yes, he has been... God has told you. He, he, he has, has been, been into it. He has, he has been, been into it. Yes. Because the Lord showed me. I saw him standing with a Bible. And the Lord says he will teach the word. Hallelujah. I'll pray for you. You don't teach the Bible just with English. There is an anointing. Tonight I lay my hands upon you. Let that spirit of wisdom and understanding. Come upon you right now. Step into a new dimension. I open your understanding. To understand scriptures in the name of Jesus Christ you love God but we must pray so that because of the quest for establishment you will not join bad people you want to be successful but what God does not give you you cannot get huh because there are bad people around your life you are a good person but there are all kinds of bad people and we must pray huh lay your hands on your chest there's something that will leave you. You did not even know when you started fraternizing with what is not of God. But tonight, my God, let there be deliverance. You are literally going to feel something leaving your chest right now. Let him go. Right now. Thank you, Jesus. Restore this family, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Go and return with your testimony. Where is the guy that has been skipping from university to university? His sister brought him. Are you here? The last Nsuka. Bring him quickly. His time of deliverance has come. Everywhere this guy goes, spirits torment him. He has, come, and, come and stand here. This is your night of visitation. It's over. Look at this guy. Listen. I want you to appreciate what God is doing in this place. There are people whose lives are, I'm not saying clap. The greatest gift you can give anybody is not money, is not car, is to bring him to a place where he can find genuine restoration. Hallelujah. How many universities? Come, you are, come. Are you not the one who brought him? How many universities? Same university. They've, they've driven him. Twice. Twice. You think it's normal for somebody to get admission twice? UNN, right? Nsuka? Yes, sir. God will deliver him. Come, my brother. It's not, it's not like you are lazy. Huh? It's not like you are lazy. Because I'm seeing something like foam on his mouth. And you cannot even articulate. It's, like, it's as if you are manipulated. God is going to set you free. You believe this? Yes. Lord, you reign forever. Hold my hands. Hold my hands. Look at me. Something will leave you right now and you'll be free. Let him go. Now! Lord, restore to him the years that the canker worm has eaten. Restore to him the years that the palmer worm has eaten. In the name of Jesus Christ, restore to him. Restore to him. Let him rise up a brand new person. I worship you. Hallelujah. If there's any case of barrenness here, whether for yourself or for your loved ones, please come out here. If you're married and you're experiencing barrenness, let them stand in the front. 
if you're standing here for yourself please don't just be emotional we're not joking here this is very serious business look at me look at me listen let me tell you something and don't please don't find it offensive every case of barrenness is demonic what did i say every every i don't care what the doctors say whether they say there is a womb or no womb the the person who is having this situation may not be a bad person but i'm telling you it must be resolved spiritually hallelujah please keep playing you're tired play the strings ladies and gentlemen see the number of people standing for loved ones how many of you are standing in for yourself for your sister just look at me look at me she's going to be delivered right now where she is from me. don't worry just look at me just look at me let her go you are feeling something coming up on you right now let her go now by the power of the holy ghost whether they say fibroid or no womb is irrelevant i'm just telling you that this is a demonic issue but when god steps in you won't go back you can't go back to the way it used to be before his presence came and changed me just try to connect and hold your hands together and lift it up madam come let me pray for you look at me how many years And then he stopped. We are going to pray. Look at me. This is a family thing. Hold on. Because it's not only you. Who else? My junior sister. Your junior sister has the same thing. She has never had a child. That's to tell you this is a spirit. But as God sets you free, he will set her free too. Lay your hands on your stomach. Look at me. Go and have your child. Father, in the name of Jesus, I open up your womb to receive baby boy. You will come back with your baby boy. please lift your hands i'm going to pray for you whether you are standing in for yourself or for your family members the fire of god will come upon you and that person in question will be released you are standing as a point of contact my god i pray that from my left to my right in the name of Jesus let the angel of fruitfulness move across this place at the count of three one two three right now wombs be open wombs be open take it take it take it take it miracle children take it for your loved ones take it take it from the realm of the spirit whoever you are standing in for i command all medical complications go all medical complications go i cause fibroid i cause every cyst in the name of jesus all those who do not have wounds we put brand new wounds now brand new wounds in the name of Jesus. The fire of the Holy Ghost is burning a lot of things. Burning a lot of chaff. Every spirit of miscarriage. I curse it right now. 
I cause it right now. I cause it right now. The spirit of miscarriage. Every spirit that comes to eat up children in the womb. I arrest you. You are bound. You remain bound. Hallelujah. I prophesy to every one of you here. Make sure you tell your loved ones we prayed for them. That in the name that is above all names. They will not only take in. They will give birth like the Hebrew women. We forbid CS in the name of Jesus. They will give birth normally. No devil will eat up any child. There will be no miscarriage. And for those who have stayed a long time. We command twins. We command triplets. Let there be a restoration. I provoke it by the hand of God. Please don't think we are just entertaining. Prophecy does not just reveal. It creates. It creates. It creates. I tell you, a lot of things are happening. Pregnancy is not just when a man meets a woman. Mary said, be it unto me. We put miracle children in their wombs right now. From the realm of the spirit. Hallelujah. God bless you. Please go back to your seat. We see miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Hallelujah. Now, very quickly, if you came here specifically for healing, I want to minister to the sick right now. Specifically for healing, or you brought someone sick, now is your time, please. Quickly. Ushers, coordinate them so that they will line up very well. You came here with any infirmity, please. If you brought someone, now is the time to bring them out. The worship team will lead us in a powerful time of worship as we rebuke that devil. No matter how far you are, wherever you are, please find your way to the front. You came here for healing. It's called a miracle service. It's not just a name. Please, I need to pray for sick people fast because we need to release breakthroughs in other areas. There are people who your own is not sickness. Your own is breakthrough. Please just line up. Those under the anointing, just leave them. There is a pool. Some of you, as you are standing here right now, the power of God will even begin to touch you before we minister. Now we are going to do it very fast. Hallelujah. Listen. It doesn't matter what your sickness is. Right? The anointing is not just the ability to heal. It's the ability to bring solutions to any kind of problem. Are you getting my point? So while you are standing, I'd like you to pray and say, Lord, I'm not going back the same. I'm tired. This is it. This is it. Worship team leaders, Bishop, please come help me. Pastor Williams. Hallelujah. Please, those of you who are seated, make sure you are not just seated watching. Be praying in tongues. We will minister very quickly. In case you are seated and you have not written your prayer request, let's save time. Now is the time to start writing your prayer request. And our online community, those streaming online, please, they can bring their prayer request. Hallelujah. Father, thank you because of your power. Let every sick body be healed. Let every sick body be healed in the name of Jesus. Sing Jesus. Bring her. Jesus. There is 
What's her genotype? What's her genotype? I'm not her mom. Who brought her? Mother, where are you? Where's the mother? You are the mother. What's her genotype? SS. She's SS. Don't worry. We're going to change it right now. Huh? Not just her, but this is something that will need to happen in the family. There is sickness parading itself as blood condition. It's not blood condition, anything. Father, we change this lady's genotype right now. Baby, let SS change to AA right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. And I cast the spirit of infirmity from her life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Perfection in your body, in Jesus' name. Jesus, there is What's wrong with you, madam? Hold on, please. Your son, too, is SS. All of you are SS. Huh? You, too, you are SS. Hallelujah. Madam, don't cry. Weep not. For there is one who is worthy to open the book and unlock the scroll. Hallelujah. Your child too. Can somebody collect the child, please? So that I'll pray for her. He's sleeping, so just let him continue his sleep. Father, we change his genotype right now in the name of Jesus. And we rebuke sickness. Please hold my hands. I need to pray for you. There is a lot of poverty in your life. Look at me. Why do people hate you? Huh? Is that true? What? I can't understand why. How can they just hate you just like that? Look at me. The enemy has done this. But tonight God visits you. Change her story, oh God. Change her story. You will return with testimonies of dramatic breakthrough in Jesus' name. All right, let's save time. Healing in your name. Jesus. As I pray for you, as you go back to your seat, make sure you check yourself. Do what you couldn't do. Say Jesus. Now, and God is out. Come out, a glory out of her. Now, God. out of her. Now, that devil of darkness, God is be healed. Now, out of her, a spirit of infirmity. God is a glory. Be set free now. Glory. 
miracles everywhere. I see miracles I break every everywhere. Covenant with the power of the miracles everywhere. And right now, and right now, miracles, miracles everywhere. I see miracles. Ha! You are the joy of the whole world. I say you are the great and mighty God. So greatly to be praised and beautiful for all situations. Ha! You are the joy of the whole world. I say you are the great and mighty God. So greatly to be praised. Hey, you are the joy of the whole world. I say you are the great and mighty God. So greatly to be praised. Beautiful for all to the wage. You are the joy of the whole world. You are the great and mighty God. So greatly to be praised. Joy of the whole world. I think you are the great and mighty God. So greatly to be praised. Beautiful all situation. Hey, you are the joy of the whole world. Hey, you are the great and mighty God. So greatly to be praised. Beautiful all situation. You are the joy of the whole world, and you are the great and mighty God. So greatly to be praised, Lord, beautiful all situation. You are the joy of the whole world. That great and mighty God, Go. out of her now. So greatly out of her, be praised, out. You wanna jump? Be healed right now. I change that medical result. Emela, Emela, oh. Yeah. 
Gabriel, I remember where are they? All of you are Gabriel. The power of God is going to come on somebody, a lady outside. There is one lady, the power of God will come mightily upon her. Please bring her in. I need to speak to her. The power of God will come very mightily on one lady. Very, very mightily. I can't remember why I called you people, honestly. Let me pray for you. your father is in this meeting where is he i need to talk to him you're the best eh? he's not around i mean he's here you mean he's in town he's in town he's not okay in i thought he was around i need to talk to him go and tell him that the gates of delay has been shattered look at me look at me does it make sense to you what i'm saying go and tell your father that the gates of delay has been shattered father confirm your word i give you praise Your hands will bring bread to your table. You are a creative person. Make use of your hands. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to specifically deal with certain things right now. Hallelujah. Um... I'm not going to ask you to come out, but I hope that they came out here. We want to rebuke all kinds of incurable diseases. I just want to take one or two minutes and rebuke incurable diseases. Because if we do not help God's people, medically it's incurable. HIV, hepatitis, all these satanic things around make sure you never believe these things and settle on them believing that that's how it would be so please stand up everybody stand up please please rise up everybody We want to speak against every medical report that the doctor has said nothing can be done about it and in case you are here and any of your loved ones is in the sick bed please connect with them even as we pray right now hallelujah father I pray right now specifically for incurable diseases we depend on you and we ask for your mercy. Without your mercy, these people are on their way to death. But I thank you because you are the resurrection and you are the life. And right now, in the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. Anyone with HIV in this place, I declare be healed right now in the name of Jesus Christ. HIV be healed in the name of Jesus. Cancer be healed in the name of Jesus every form of cancer every form of cancer be healed in the name of jesus every kind of hepatitis right now in this place i cause it to its root in the name of jesus christ hepatitis be healed be gone in the name of jesus hallelujah for blood groups who are going to deal with that one when i minister prophetically Please lift your prayer request. Pass it to the person at the last, at the last end. Ushers, please walk around all over this building. Hallelujah. Now the Lord is ministering to me. I want to specially pray for families 
with uncompleted building projects. Please find your way quickly and just stand here. The Lord wants to minister. Just one word I will speak. I want you to believe. I'm not saying you want to build a house, please. The power of God is touching people and changing uncompleted projects. Uncompleted projects. Please believe what I'm saying. I'm not just playing pranks here. As you're standing here, the Lord is going to set people free. Okay, if, if there's no space, just stand where you are and then I'll pray for you. Lift your hands, everybody. It will surprise you the Bible says how that the hand of God came lift your hands the hand of God came upon Elijah the prophet and he ran the Bible says he overtook the chariots of Ahaz down to Jezreel I want to pray we are going to pray for everybody prophesying speed but I want to pray because the Lord is ministering to me specifically for building projects some of them are tied down because of finance some of them are tied down because of court issues some of them are tied down because of diabolic demonic things it doesn't matter what category sir or Gaza God is going to visit you because your issue is it looks like his money but it's not money this is witchcraft God is going to set you free. Are you getting what I'm saying? Lift your hands, please. My God, I pray. Goodness, there will be a lot of mighty miracles. I want you to believe. Many of you are going to feel literally like fire. It will come on your right hand. It will come on your right hand in a very powerful way. All across here right now, the angel of the Lord will move right now. Right now, Father, in the name of Jesus, move right now everything stopping any uncompleted project your right hand the power of god is a prophetic language the right hand of god is power and by that power of the holy ghost in the name of jesus i command every uncompleted project be completed now in the name of jesus be completed now in the name of jesus every power stopping any building project I challenge you right now in the name of Jesus. Every lack of finance responsible, I command supplies from heaven. 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 Every land issue in this place, every court issue, we resolve it here tonight in the name of Jesus Christ go and return with mighty testimonies let the hand of God the finishers anointing let it come upon you and upon your loved ones a finishers anointing that unction that comes to finish what you have started receive it right now in Jesus name God bless you please run back to your seat submit your prayer request very quickly Hallelujah. Please listen. There are a number of people here. The Lord is ministering to me. Mike, can you play strings? Who is playing? Please. Play strings, strings, strings. Just play strings. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me a few people here. Please listen. You had a dream, and in the dream, either a dog or a serpent beat you. Please come out. There are a number of people in that kind of situation. God is ministering to me. That devil is a liar. And what? Please, if, it, if this is, if you're part of these people I've mentioned, please come out. A dog or a serpent. I'm just flowing as the Holy Spirit is showing me. Because this is very demonic. That lady is, is, is one of the people and she'll be delivered right now. Odione kikagi Onye Onye Shibala bakala balada Onye Odione kikagi 
no matter where you are hiding even if you didn't come out here as i pray the power of god will locate you it's a very serious situation please stand up everybody please stand up everybody Bala, you're just going to clash the simba for me i'm going to pray because this is a very demonic thing the lord is ministering to me this is the deliverance of someone right now a snake or a, or a dog an animal beat you in the dream it didn't create any effect but you may not know what it is causing to you right now goodness i see a pruning fork an angel of the lord standing with a pruning fork hallelujah at the count of three as they clash the simba there will be mighty deliverances here and some of you in the crowd as it's happening to them it will happen to you hallelujah father right now let your power begin to move every demonic object in your body right now at the count of three come out jump out and go one two three go 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 out of them out of them some people in the congregation it will touch you there too out of them every foul spirit i'm going to lay my hands on everybody there. out of them 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 please help them Devil of darkness, out of them, out of them, come out, come out, everything that has not been planted by my father that is responsible for your limitation. Hey, hey. Oh yeah. Hey. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I command deliverance. Oh dear, oh yeah. I command deliverance. Oh yeah. I command deliverance. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You will be delivered mightily. This is a demonic thing on you. Release her now. Release her now. Now. Out. Release her now. Release her now. You must let her go. 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 Let her go. Out. Come out. Out, go, go, go. Every devil, remove every demonic ring, every demonic chain, every demonic ring, every demonic chain. Let God's people go right now. Go, release her right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Let her go now. Let her go by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Take off everything. Take your property. Pack your load on your back. Get set. Go, 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 go. Go, go. Devil of darkness, out of her by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Out, I break covenants. I break yoke. Every act of witchcraft, I plead the blood and I set you free. Now,
Alléluia. Alléluia. Listen. This is the root cause of many problems in our lives and our families. Preachers have told us once you are born again, it's all right. You are filled with the Holy Ghost. You are seeing it by yourself that it's not all right. There is an operation of the kingdom that must separate you with darkness. Some of these people, what is happening to them is responsible for stubbornness, immorality, and we come and preach in church. We say stop it. It can't be stopped till that devil gives way. Bring this lady for me. Let her go now. Once and for all. Remove this demonic ring. I see a lot of rings on her feet, on her hands. Remove it and pack your load and go. 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 See, bro, you should thank me for what I'm doing. I'm preparing your wives and husbands. You just get up and come and meet a lady. And then you don't pray. You see why we tell people to be spiritual. That's why many people keep wondering. Why will a brother come to me and run away? Or why will a sister come? I break covenants. This is an usher. This is our own usher. Go! Go! I see you in the spirit. And I command you to go. This spirit that is tormenting this lady, the Lord is showing me. This thing has been in this family for 178 years. This is what God is showing me. It has nothing to do with her. Out in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's save time. Have you submitted this? Father, let none of these people return with any influence. It must let them go. It must let them go. Hallelujah. So you see a student will write jam and write wayek and enter the school and all of a sudden become dull and people keep insulting. This child is not good. You think people just smoke because they want to smoke or they sleep around just because they want to sleep around? Brothers and sisters, there are influences and it takes the power of the Holy Spirit to keep the devil where he belongs so that the people of God can enter the reality of their inheritance. That's why you see people who keep testifying. Oh, breakthrough just started happening in my family. You may not know what has been limiting them. That's why here we don't just heal the sick. I told you the anointing is the power of God to solve problems. Any kind of problem. It's not just healing. It's not just wheelchairs. There are destinies that are tied down. And they need the power of God. You will be amazed that after you leave this meeting tonight, doors will just be opening. You will see how easy it is. And then you will know that something happened to you. It doesn't matter whether you came out here or not. Once you are under the influence of this sound, something is happening to you. I want to pray on this request right now. Hallelujah. Many of you have communicated your thoughts and that of your family members right here. Please, if anyone has not submitted your request, do that very fast. As we pray on these requests, I don't care what you wrote here. May this be the last time you will see it. In the name of Jesus Christ, every pharaoh and every egypt that you wrote and dropped here as surely as the lord god lives this will be the very last time hallelujah 
Stretch your hands and begin to pray in tongues. Bishop, come, please, Pastor Williams, come as we pray on the request. Pray in tongues. Pray in tongues. Make sure you are praying in tongues. Visitation, oh God. Visit your people. Visit your people, oh God. Let there be breakthroughs. Visit your people. Visit your people. Visit your people. Visit your people. Se preke de balararararaba. Onye. Se kete kete ba 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 ba. Ora kata balararaba. Please stretch your hands. Connect with us. All those online. They should connect with us. Lord, let this be the last time. Onye. Thank you, Father. Because with you, nothing is impossible. With you, no request is impossible. Anything that is not in existence can be created. Father, we thank you because this request cannot defy your power. Thank you, Jesus, because it is possible. Thank you, Jesus. We see the answers. Lord, we receive in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Because from this night forward, we we'll begin to see the manifestations of everything we wrote here. In the name of Jesus, thank you for healing. Thank you for breakthrough for families. Thank you for jobs. Thank you for marriages. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. We celebrate you, O oh God, in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. We declare and we speak over these requests. We turn them into testimonies. We turn them into testimonies. We turn them into testimonies. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. If you're a minister of the gospel and you came, you came from another place. What I mean, minister, make sure you're a preacher, minister of the gospel, you're a ministry and you came from outside of this state, please come out. I want to minister to you right now. Hallelujah. Is there anyone like that? Please quickly, quickly, let's save time. Just come and line up here. The Lord will ignite you tonight. Hallelujah. Do ministry with integrity. Do ministry with truth. Ministry is not about money or flamboyancy or manifestation or going on air. It has no nothing to do with that. Hallelujah. Ministry with integrity, with the fear of the Lord. That who you are in the open 
is who you will be in the secret. The secrets of the Lord are with them that fear him. And he will show them his covenant. I want to pray for you. That God will characterize your life and your ministry with signs and wonders. That struggling will end for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lift your hands as I pray for you. My God, in the name of Jesus, let something come upon them. In the name of Jesus, let something come upon them. By the power of the Holy Ghost, let something come upon them. In the name of Jesus, let something come upon them. Let something come upon them. In the mighty name of Jesus. We're about rounding up. Please rise up. The prophetic ministration is the greatest part of this meeting as far as I'm concerned. Please stand up everybody. This is the moment I want you to shout amen. We're about to open doors, breakthroughs of all sorts in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Wherever you can hear my voice, make sure that you shout a big amen. Please lift your hands. The Bible says, believe in the Lord and you shall be established. He said, believe in his prophets and you shall prosper. This is not the doing of any man. What you see is an election of grace. When God calls people, he empowers them. There are vessels today carrying anointings that can change people's situations and change people's story. Hallelujah. And I'm about to pray for you that something will truly open up in your life. This is the part you get to receive. Lift your hands. Hallelujah. Can you play the keyboard mic, please? Please lift your hands. I want you to shout amen with everything that you have. Lift up your heads. O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, O ye everlasting door. Every gate limiting your progress in the name of Jesus, we shatter that gate into pieces. I shatter it into pieces, into pieces. I command gates, gates, gates. Hear ye the word of the Lord. Gates, I command, Ephata, be open, be open, be open, be open. Gates of marriages, gates of restoration, be open. Anyone trusting God for a job here, in the name that is above all names, I command miracle jobs now miracle jobs now miracle jobs now I provoke your destiny help us may they find you may they help you may they honor you for every limitation you have experienced in your life and your finances in the name that is above every other name i command breakthrough receive breakthrough receive breakthrough in every area of your life breakthrough in your academics breakthrough every result that is not your own we change it tonight we change it tonight let the angel of god Go to every faculty, every department. We command change. Any family that has been victimized in this place, any family that has been victimized in the name that is above all names, whoever planned evil against your family, we judge them this night. Let the sword of judgment rest upon evil doers. 
let the soul of judgment whoever said your family will not lift up their head may my God judge them may my God judge them hallelujah every ordinance of darkness every enchantment every spell that has been written over your life that you will not become what God died what Jesus died for you to become this night we blot out those handwritings we set those altars on fire those shrines on fire and we release you anyone here who has suffered delay of any kind I don't know what area you have suffered delay or your loved ones but I want to pray for you right now my Bible says and I will restore to you the years canker worms can eat time they can eat years of men's lives but I pray my God and my King right now I shout it in the spirit restoration 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 receive it restoration i prophesy i decree restoration of joy of peace of finances of opportunities hallelujah there are some of you because of your mistakes of the past certain things have happened in your life and like Samson many people are laughing at you and mocking you that will your strength return I want to prophesy to you just like the hair of Samson grew back I call forth anointings that left because of indiscipline I call back opportunities that left people because they misused it I call it back I call it back the God who changes times may he change times to your favor hallelujah now lift your hands there will be impartations right now it is vain to attempt to serve God without the empowerment of the Spirit there are many of you who are passionate about the things of God what you need is fire in your life what you need is grace what you need is authentic unction I'm going to pray for you let the men around you know you are serving a living God lift your hands it's going to clash the Simba and I'm going to begin to speak and there will be impartations of gifts prayer altars will come alive dry bones will come alive make sure lift your hands thank you Jesus hallelujah you're going to shout the name Jesus once and I'm going to begin to speak many of you my God I pray especially for those who have never had encounters dramatic deep encounters let these encounters swallow up spiritual laziness swallow up prayerlessness right now shout the name Jesus once take it now receive it the gift of the Holy Ghost fire fire take it take it inside and outside fire the spirit of prophecy receive it the healing anointing I release it upon you go and heal the sick receive it the healing anointing take it prophesy visions I command visions visions let the vistas of the spirit be opened up to you every gift available for your enriching I command 
prayer fire take it now take it now prayer fire prayer fire prayer fire Reketetete e prokotoba mamprakata e koske e bandapa reketetete reketetete e prokotoba I found the fire on your prayer altar it comes back alive I pray for you right now The Bible says, because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness, therefore God, even thy God has anointed you with the oil of gladness and that oil sets you above your fellows, the anointing for distinguishing. Take it now, take it now, take it now, take it now, everywhere you go, be set apart, be distinguished, take it now. Hallelujah. 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 And the Bible says, Esther went to a man called Haggai. The one who took care of the virgins of the king and he gave her a particular ointment to keep rubbing for one year and she passed the king once and he found favor i want to pray for you that anointing that can cause you to ride sweatlessly that grace for favor in the name that is above all names receive it now Receive it now. Receive it now. Shaka Baba Baba. Sekete. Mam Protoskopa. Shoteke te 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 te. Teke te Baba Baba Baba. Mam Prateke te. Yes, be distinguished. The favor of the Lord is upon you. The favor of the Lord is upon you. It marks you. The favor of the Lord is upon you. It marks you. Hallelujah. 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 There are many of us who are praying and say, Lord, what was I born for? Why did you bring me here? What was I born to do? I want to pray for you. Lift your hands. It says, Lo, I come in the volume of the book as it is written. No confusion. A purposeless man will never find fulfillment. I want to pray that God will grant you revelation of the reason why you were born that out of the seven billion people in the earth you were born for a reason therefore my god let the angel that brings revelation visit your people in the name of jesus through dreams through visions through prophetic confirmations receive the mandate of your life receive the blueprint of your life Hallelujah. Every habit that you are struggling with that is mocking your Christian experience, I don't care what it is, pornography, masturbation, anything that is compromising your Christian experience, right now, I judge the spirits behind it. I judge the spirits behind it. And I command them to let you go. Be free. Be free. Be free. Be free from every habit. Be free. Hallelujah. For those of you who do not have the zeal to study the word again, it's not like you're not serious. 
you don't even know what has happened to you there's no zeal to study the word some of you are finding yourself you were once on fire in terms of your world life some of you would pray through the night some of you would study suddenly distractions happen i want to pray right now son of man can these bones live again and he said only down knowest i prophesy to you every dead spiritual life in this place my god i pray let the wind the east wind that reawakens dead things that is responsible for resurrection from the east side of the spirit let that wind blow over your life and bring restoration now 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 hallelujah listen to me god wants to make the best out of your life but you must be willing to yield yourself there are two kinds of people in this place right now there are those who have been taking these things of the spirit just playing around you may be born again but your life is so unpredictable you're not serious you know that you need to make it right there are others who have never made this decision for Jesus you go to church you have a Christian name hallelujah and there are others who are backslidden completely and they need to be restored as I count one to five those three categories of people whether you've given your heart to the Lord and you found yourself derailing or you are praying and saying Lord I want to be serious with you from today or you are saying Lord I'm surrendering everything as I count one to five please I like you to run like your life depends on it God is waiting for you right here one please don't wait for anybody two inside and outside it doesn't matter what you have done run 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 I didn't say walk run run like your life depends on it three Jehovah, we praise you. Jehovah, we praise you. We praise your name. We praise your name. Want to pray for you lift your hands i salute you for making this decision this is not unto a man but this is unto god hallelujah i like you to say this after me from the depths of your heart please don't play games with god god is willing to make your life better than you can ever imagine now is the time to shame the devil and say enough is enough enough i'm tired enough is enough say after me convincingly from the depths of your heart Lord Jesus I repent of my sins you're not reciting a point make sure you understand what you're saying I repent of my sins and I love you with all my heart forgive me today I make Jesus the Lord of my life I ask for forgiveness cleanse me wash me I receive your life into my spirit from today forward ever and backward never I denounce sin and Satan and I live unto righteousness Holy Spirit come and live in me make me a new person in the name of Jesus keep your hands lifted and I'll pray for you father receive these ones into your kingdom and your family let today be the beginning 
of a dramatic and a genuine transformation I break them free from wrong companies and Lord I pray that they will be empowered in the inner man to do mighty things for you hallelujah praise the Lord now look at me every one of you I congratulate you this is the best decision you would have ever made in your life and I want you to know that no matter what went wrong in your life this is a fresh start hallelujah now tomorrow listen please tomorrow Bishop Stan will be meeting with you at the chapel just close to the chapel bookstore for the experience of the baptism in the Holy Spirit you need it they'll be guiding you sharing with you a few foundational things it's very very important time is what sir 5 p.m. prompt please 5 p.m. prompt for now I like you to follow the ushers they are waving at you and they will have your information will pray for you and will follow you up. God bless you please follow them God bless you follow them very quickly hallelujah let's take the following announcements very quickly if you're worshiping with us for the first time this is your first time aside from those who are going out if this is your first time of worshiping with us here at koinonia we love you and we want to bless you please wherever you are just find your way to the front right now god bless you please find your way quickly quickly koinonia celebrate them this is not your best there are people who came all the way from joss all the way from abuja different parts thank you so much god bless you hallelujah god bless you this is koinonia the ministry put together by eternity network international hallelujah thank you so much for coming we appreciate and we celebrate you we meet every friday this is not our venue our venue is cgc we had to make an arrangement because there was something going on there so we'll be there from next week we're back to our venue the lord bless you thank you so much for coming your life will never remain the same in jesus name stretch your hands saints of god and just bless them pray for them may the lord bless you we cause the heavens to be open over you we bless you with hunger for spiritual things in the name that is above all names may you experience the hand of god in dramatic ways you will understand the intimacy of the holy spirit in the name of jesus thank you once again for coming may the lord bless you may the lord honor you hallelujah i like you to just follow the ushers they'll communicate a few things to you and you'll be back thank you so much koinonia celebrate them very quickly god bless you thank you hello beloved in christ we hope this message was a blessing to you i would want you to do something for us if you are new here kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body to their soul and to their spirit we would need you to do one thing for us to tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from and if you've got any testimony for us kindly share with us thank you for watching in the name of jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise i decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain